the lion's plight to me is about conquering fear and uh, facing your battles and not being afraid. You know, everybody wants to eat, but few are willing to hunt. Yeah, we're gonna, be, we're gonna get that win for you, all right? I got the power of the bracelet too. I'll be thinking about you, all right? Okay, thank you. Uh, Isaac. And we are still trying to figure out who Lamar Jackson, this set of wide receivers, and Todd Munkin are. I think that Detroit will win. Come on, Ravens. You got to stand up and show us you're capable of putting it together for 60 minutes and kicking the crap out of teams. Jackson play fake. He'll keep it. Runs to the left side. He's to the five. He walks in. Touchdown, Ravens. Back in the end zone. Touchdown, Nelson Aguilar. He's in. Touchdown, Baltimore. And the Ravens strike for a fourth time in the opening half. I believe. The Lions are going to roar. Let's go out here. Let's play our ball. Let's strap. Let's do what we got to do. All that. Go down. Send down. Let's go. You know what we're doing, too. What do? Woo! The lion's spike to me is about conquering fear and uh, facing your battles and not being afraid. You know, everybody wants to eat, but few are willing to hunt. In the Bible, in Samuel, there's a story about Benai, who was one of uh, David's mighty men. And it says that on a snowy day, he went into a pit, chased a lion into a pit and, and, and killed the lion. So we take that to the Maasai tribe in Africa, which is a herding tribe in the ancient history of, like, even, not so, even not so ancient, uh, to defend the, the herds, they had to kill lions because lions would attack the herds. And, and a young warrior was responsible to stand between the lion and the herd. The lion attacked, that spike was used like that when the lion came at him with the open mouth and you had to put it right in the lion's mouth. And that's what protected the herd. So uh, we talk about uh, making the kill, so to speak, in a game, making the final play that wins the game. And that'll be a, an award for the guy that does that every week. We said we're going to chase the line. We said we're going to flinch, we're going to back down, we're going to turn. All right, we're going to look the lion in the eye. And when the time came, we were going to kill the lion. The first time we did it was the Browns. We had to win that game to, to make the playoffs. Baker Mayfield to throw under pressure. His pass is intercepted. Mosley with the interception. The Hayes in the barn. And the Ravens are in the playoffs. And at the end, the guy that's going to get this is a guy that made the kill at the end, C.J. Moe. Yeah. And that was the lion spike for the season. We had said at the beginning of the season, whoever made the play to get us in the playoff would get the lion spike. I've been told that C.J. takes that onto the field before games, even now with the Jets. When he confronted me this year to say, hey, I have an idea about let's do this lion spike and giving it to the person who closes the game out. And I'm like, you know, I need, how am I building these things? I need to see them. So that one picture of him holding it up out on the field is what I kind of <laughs> based these sizes off of him and I played with him. I probably built 15 or 16 to let John hold him and feel him and he kept telling me bigger, smaller, thinner, thicker. And then we finally came up with the one that he was happy to, to use. And, and when he gives this spike out to whoever closed the game, they've killed that line. They've conquered their fear, they put their body on the line and they made the play they needed to play to close that deal out and win the game. We needed a play to stay on the field. It was a third down play. Lamar, you made a hell of a throw. Pass protection was outstanding. And OBJ, you made the grab. <laughs> the line spike is gonna go, it's gonna go to the offensive line. The biggest thing I'm excited for, one, they're only giving out for a win, so that is really exciting. But whom he picks, I think, is a testament to what the spike is about. I mean, it speaks about conquering fear, and that's what, you know, I think the epitome of the Ravens are when they say, play like a Raven. It's big, it's probably the biggest honor you can get for you know, after the game is um, delivering that, you know, last final blow, and uh, it's a killing strike. It's an awesome feeling being able to be close to some of these players and see the behind the scenes and understand what they're about that it's real and it's not a gimmick. Like I see it firsthand and it's, they're the real deal. They're a class outfit. I'm assuming we're gonna win a Super Bowl. So I'm hoping to build a six or eight foot, maybe they can put in a lobby. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Good to see everybody here, appreciate that. We're gonna just get back to business as usual. We're gonna try to get back on our schedule. I think coming this way is, is kind of a good thing. 
uh, you, you're used to getting up, you know, uh, because you're ahead of time there. So uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow afternoon with our guys doing what we do. They're going to get a chance to sleep all day today if they want, and then we'll, we'll be pointed toward the Lions. There's the reality of the travel, of the jet lag that exists, but I think there's equally as much of a concern with a letdown because there's so much buildup to going over to England to play in those London games. And for the Ravens, they spent so much energy to get there early to really set themselves up for success. But it's equally as important to have that on the way back. And I think you often will see early in games for teams that have been across the pond the following week. Just look at the Buffalo Bills. They played the Jags. They came back on Sunday Night Football, and it took them a while to get going in that game against the Giants. So that is a real concern. It has to be a real focus as you get set to face the Lions if you're Baltimore. Even though we went overseas to London and, and we had to deal with the time change and, and all these other things and distractions, um, this team's got you know a lot of guys that are focused and got good heads on their shoulders and um, that's something that we're gonna have to get good at this year you know traveling a lot so um, that's just the start of it so I think we did a good job with it. I think you have to match Detroit's toughness and you look across the roster and really it starts with their head coach and Dan Campbell he's built a team that resembles his personality and defensively that's Aiden Hutchinson off the edge and then offensively a strong running game and then a talented, dynamic wide receiver in Amon Ross St. Brown. And Jared Goff's playing some of the best football of his career. So they're really a complete team right now. And I think most importantly, they're playing with a ton of confidence. Man, we got 11 games left in the regular season. So we have a lot of challenges ahead of us. A formidable run right in front of us. Uh, if we can get to Jared Goff, that's gonna be a big part of the game plan. It's something that's gonna be important. If you don't do that, you're not gonna have a chance to be successful. So we're just working on this one game right now. Bracelets, he would like to pass out there for a practice, so it's going to be amazing. There he is. You met Mark Andrews at the mall. Mark, this is your guy. Why don't you tell the guys about it? I mean, I just met him at a, I was at a Nike store, and uh, he had like stage four cancer. Yeah, when you see him, he lights up, he's got this big smile, and he's going through a lot. So um, you got to respect someone that, you know, obviously going through tough times. Life's not fair, so let's, let's show this guy a good time. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. You can't wait. Great. It's Mario. Can you see? No, wait. No, look at his bracelet. It's your bracelet. It's so cool, buddy. This is a young person's wish. This is something that they've dreamed of their whole life. This is the one thing they picked. To come to the Ravens and be at a Ravens practice and be at a Ravens game and meet the guys and be a part of things. If that's the one thing they want, Man, we got that's an honor. What's up, dude? Just hi. Say hi. Isaac. Isaac, what's up, man? Hi. Can I get a high five? Hey, Shai. Nice, yeah. a good one. Hi, dude. How's it going? How you doing? Dude, I love your Mark Andrews jersey. That's what's well, up, dude. Hi, Mom. Oh, it's an Isaac jersey. Nice. Sick, dude. Yeah. We got wristbands? Nice. These nice, are for us? Dude. Thanks, man. Oh, it's like, why is he hiding you in my backpack? I'm right now. So excited. Wow. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. We've been graced with the opportunity you know, to fulfill that one dream. I mean, I can't even believe that it would be that, you know, and if it is that, then we want to make it the best possible experience they ever dreamed of, beyond what they would have wished for. Go get him, go get him. Oh, it's a savage hit! Yeah. Hey, Jordan. 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 Like he's drinking water, see? Or Gatorade. Oh yeah, let's go say hi to him. But we gotta wait, okay? Because he's practicing. Just being around him, his soul, just his character. It was a, it was a real short time, but he made a big impact on, on me. Um, and he was just such a happy kid, um, and going through such a hard time. And, and to see that, um, to see him fighting, and to see him being so happy and, and, and loving everybody, um, it just kind of boils down to what life is really all about, and that's that's enjoying it, um, loving family, loving people, and. Um, just being grateful for the time that you have, and I think he embodies that. So I love that little guy to death. Hi y'all. Yeah. Hi y'all. What's up, big man? Hello. How we doing, dog? Hello. What's up, man? You like the number zero? No. Oh, man. 
I, I guess I may have to go change like back. You know, maybe 98, you'll like that. I like that number. <laughs> and last year was my one year cancer free mark. It's cool. <laughs> it's good, man. You look strong. I know. Strong like me. <laughs> Obviously, the world is not a fair place. It's uh, some people are dealt hands that you know they shouldn't be dealt, but um, they live with it. And, and I think for for us to be able to get back and use this platform and be in the NFL and being um, with the Ravens, um, that's that's the best you can do. So um, I'm thankful to be a part of an organization that that really takes time to to give back to people that that deserve it. I'm coming. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get the ball. <laughs> Get me in, coach. coach yeah. <laughs> Let's go. We're racing. It's a race. Come on. Uh, all the way to the goal line. All the way to the goal line. You better, you better get in front. You got to get out in front. Ah. Hey. Let's go. We're the game. Well, I, it's, your game is right across the street. Yeah, we're going to get that win for you, all right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Ready. I got the power of the bracelet, too. I'll be thinking about you, all right? Okay. Thank you. Isaac, it's amazing seeing you, brother. Bye. I'd love to see you. Go Ravens! That's right, buddy. Okay, now go. Also, Isaac joined us with Make-A-Wish, who's just an awesome young guy. Hi, Isaac. See you later, buddy. Bye, coach. It is fair to say that this is the best Detroit Lions football team in the last 30 years. The Lions are as hot as any team in the NFL right now. They are 5-1. and one. They've won four straight. You know they have the number one rush defense in the NFL? Number one, not two, not three. This is a great team. The Lions have proven that they can go to the Super Bowl, in my eyes. I believe the Lions are gonna roar. This is one of the best defenses in football in the Ravens, and I know this is one of the best offenses in football with the Detroit Lions. I think that Detroit will win. I trust Jared Goff more on Sundays than pretty much every quarterback in the NFL. And we are still trying to figure out who Lamar Jackson and Todd Munkin are. What we aren't trying to figure out is who Jared Goff is. Their offense is talented. I don't think that has translated to good football yet. Todd Munkin, it's middle of October. What are we doing here? Come on, Ravens. You got to slam the door on some of these teams. You got to stand up and show us you're capable of putting it together for 60 minutes and kicking the crap out of teams. Because when it's clicking, it's clicking well for the Ravens. I'm going to go with the Ravens in this one. Hey, they can't go to four and three. They're at home. Good. 24 20, Ravens. Let's go. Not much need to be said. Let's go out here. Let's play our ball. Let's strap. Let's do what we got to do. Let's make our respect us. Let's make our respect us. Lions at five and one, Ravens at four and two. So many strengths going head to head today, and both teams in first place in their respective divisions. We're five and one. What are we gonna do to make that five and two? Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do to make that five and two? Must be great, man. Yep, all day, all day. <laughs> this is respect game. One snap at a time. Be lock in and get to the ball with as much effort as you can, all right? Here we go, let's have a day. Dark side on three. One, two, three, Dark side! Let's go, love it. Mentality, you know Mentality in this game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's start with that mindset. Set your mind right now. What type of day you gonna have? You already got my <laughs> Let's go, baby. Come on, all day. Huh? Yeah. That's all team security. Lock the gate. Brotherhood on three. One, two, three. Brotherhood. Terrell Suggs is up on the big screen at either end of the stadium. He'll be honored at halftime today. T Sizzle. In inducted in the Ring of Honor. He belongs in the Hall of Fame. He is certainly what a Hall of Famer is made of. Today he joins the Ring of Honor, one of the all time, all time. He is the Ravens' all time sack leader. And he will definitely find a place in camp. Time to go, baby. Time to go. Time to go. Let's go, man. Good. Save for later. It looks all. I got you, Isaac. Let's go, man. Let's go. Later. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Let's go, baby. All day. Let's go. 
Come on, low head butts. Ah! All day. Lock in. The Ravens have won the opening coin toss. What do you think the strategy is to take the ball first? Well, they outscore their opponents 41-6 to in the first quarter, especially the first drive. So they're like, hey, let's we want to get on the board first. Get up early, get the lead, and hold the lead. Jackson will keep it off the fake and throws it to Odell Beckham Jr., who spins at the 38 for a first down. Lamar wants to throw, has time, fires down the middle. He's got a man wide open at the 40-yard line. Zay Flowers, 30. He's to the 20, cuts up the numbers, 15, and he's taken down there in the red zone. And Rod, here's where you have to make sure it's touchdowns, not field goals. Jackson will keep it, he'll run, he's hit and drilled, shy of the first down. And now comes decision time as Justin Tucker started running on the field, and John Harbaugh reeled him back to the sideline. Lamar under center, fourth down and one at the Lions 7. Jackson play fake, he'll keep it, runs to the left side, he's to the five, he walks in, touchdown Ravens! Now that is creativity from this offense. Great! Last thing I like about that was you getting everybody organized with boys. Yes sir, yes sir. Hey, good job. Hey, I was trying to hold, I was trying to hold to see if the, uh, the, the, they went quarter. I'm trying to see if you're going to go to the back of the end zone. We're good. I thought you should have stayed on the right. I thought you were going to dip inside and then stay going, stay going up the sideline. I should have. You know what I mean? Because, hey, cause look, you know you got, you know you got super duper cutbacks, but you ain't always got a deep cutback. Because you, yeah. you, you got cutbacks and you fast. So look, you might just outrun them, too. Yeah, well, maybe cut back, though. Because when I caught it, I had to stop my feet. You feel me? Because like, he threw it like to the point where I was like, I seen that part. And then I tried to reboot, but I seen him chasing me like that. Yeah, oh, so, so I was like, yeah, I'm like, I got to peel away from him. Yeah. So I was thinking about cutback because he was always remembering you fast enough to yank and then still yeah. go straight. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I always tell you. When them kind of play like that, you got the ability where well, that could be a touchdown. Yeah. Like it, 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 it could be more than a big play. That should have been. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? Like it's already a big play when you catch it. You got the ability where that's a that might also be a touchdown, yeah. and that's not hard for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know you think that, but that's one of them examples. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Pressure coming. Lamar throws across the middle. He's got Bateman at midfield with a reception, and he spun down to the 49-yard line of the Lions. First down, Ravens. Deep drop, steps up, slings it, complete to Bateman at the 35. Stiff arms a man and spins his way down to the Lions' 30-yard line. A 20-yard gain for the former first-round draft pick, Rashad Bateman. Nice pocket, man. Keep protecting. Lamar takes the snap. Lions rush four. Lamar escaping the pocket, spins his way, extending to the right side. Simmons settles his feet, lops in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Nelson Aguilar! And Lamar Jackson delivered for a second time in the red zone today. You know, I'm like, I can't believe it got flushed out of the pocket. Why wasn't the first route open? Or maybe the route wasn't run the right way somewhere, and I'm mad. And then I'm then I'm thinking, well, Lamar's getting away. And some, you know, I'm thinking, find somebody, somebody get open. Then the ball goes up as a touchdown, and I scream for joy, you know? Inside. I don't want anybody to see that. That's the type of game that this team needs throughout, and they got to play this way throughout the whole four quarters. For this defense to be great, the interior front has to play lights out football. And so far this year, they have. Pocket collapsing, he is sacked back at the 32 yard line. Matt and BK has been a beast this year from the interior. <laughs> it's his third sack in the last two games. 
Mike McDonald bringing the heat from unpredictable spots. When it's, my blood sugar's a little higher, I gotta give insulin. Bring it down. When it's low, I take some sugar, like some Gatorade or something like that. Score again. Keep scoring, man. The Ravens have now outscored their opponents 55 to 6 in the first quarter this season. 14 0 today as we start the second quarter. Rob, the challenge now is something the Ravens have not been able to do in the first six weeks of the season, and that's keep their foot on the gas pedal. Huge drive. Big drive. Lamar in the gun. Fires down the middle. He's got OBJ at the 28 yard line, and he's taken off his feet there with a first down. Jackson throws far sideline, caught by Zay Flowers as he steps out of bounds with the reception. Blitz pressure coming, Jackson throws wide open, Pat Ricard, he's to the Lions 40. 30, far side of the field and he's finally taken off his feet. As the Ravens get 28 yards and another first down. Good. Yeah! Jackson on the play fake, rolls to the right, throws to Mark Andrews at the 10, Andrews at 5, lunges for the goal line! Touchdown Ravens! Looking for Andrews, has him, Mark Andrews, turns up field, looking for the end zone, diving for the pylon, he's in! Touchdown Baltimore! Go, go, go. Let's go, Ravens! I was tired as Boy, turn on the Jets. Wait, what's wait, wait, wait. We gotta see the speed on that one. You can roll it. You can roll it. Mark was rolling there, but I don't know. I don't know if you got that speed. Bro. <laughs> You're going pretty good there, though. Oh, you turned them on. Maybe those Jets. Yeah, 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 turn on the Jets. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. I don't get that speed, and that might have been faster than me. Might have been faster than Pat. Hey, Pat's catapult was faster, Mark, they said. Gorgeous fall afternoon, an even prettier score with the Ravens up 21 to nothing. The Lions will have it for a third time today, starting the drive at their 25 yard line. Offensively and defensively, keep your foot on the pedal. You can't let teams come back into the game. Rock your road, I make a win look sweet. I cannot be beat, I'm not them. Be a fan, we do it. Do it. Bet on me, we locked in. Drive across the water, take your order. If you got 10, they call me a go. Go be making plays in top 10. Ravens bring blitz pressure. Goff under pressure and sack back of the 18 yard line. It's Arthur Mollette who comes from the slot corner position untouched and drops Jerry Goff. And the punt team comes on again for the Lions. That was number 11, first series. So, you know, it's with him, it's, it's like they did. Screens to him, right? Fake reverse, reverse. The flat rules out. On the glass and passes. Let's go, let's go. Keep it going. Ravens have not scored 30 points in their last 18 games. The second longest active streak in the NFL. Only Tennessee has gone longer. And the Ravens now with touchdowns in their first three possessions. I think it's a tip of the cap to Todd Munkin because his play calling has yeah. been exceptional. <laughs> Give us a Gus Edwards running to the right side. There's a first down and more. He crosses the 35, 40, still on his feet and all the way out to the 49 yard line. The run. Go, 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 go. As the Ravens are running over the Detroit Lions right now. And I mean physically running over them. Jackson takes the ball, rolls to the right, throws wide open. Mark Andrews at the five, sidesteps a man, but is tripped up at the one yard line. Come on, Mark. Almost a double. Oh my God. Mar the gun. 
Quick toss. Edwards sweeping to the right side. He's got a hole. He's got a touchdown. And the Ravens strike for a fourth time in the opening half. And they are going wild at MT. Four possessions, four touchdowns. Gusto! Gusto! Bro, he ain't. That boy is nervous. Show him, show him your face. Good looking brother right there. Y'all see that? You know what, Chief? I'll get it. At the one! At the one! Bro, I, as I went here, bro, I thought he was over pursuing, so I went here. Have we scored every drive? This is the most efficient I've ever seen. Twenty-eight, nothing. It has been so dominant. Not only do the Lions not have any points, Detroit doesn't have a first down yet. They had nine plays on three drives. Three, three now. Them? Yeah. The Lions going for it on fourth and eight. Crowd on its feet. Goff wants to throw. Fires near side. Incomplete. And the Ravens take over on down near midfield. Amon Ra St. Brown was the target. Arthur Mollet had spectacular coverage. Jared Goff throws the incompletion, and the Ravens defense comes through again. Zero points? Y'all can't do better. All right. Y'all can't do better than that. I just ran in circles for four plays. I just was so tired after. <laughs> I did conditioning. Every play was a boot or a screen. Bro, I'm just running in circles. <laughs> That's how good we gotta be. We gotta, we gotta compete against ourselves. Hey, let's keep pounding them. Right? Welcome to Baltimore. Let's keep welcoming them. Let's punish them. Third and three, the Ravens 28. Goff drops to throw under pressure, and he has to turf the ball. That's got to be grounding. There's nobody near him. Is that Matabike again? Justin Matabike was in Jared Goff's face. <laughs> he has played so good this year. Is that, is that a 10 second runoff, too? I think it's another 10 second. What do they got to do? Like a Hail Mary? No, they're going to punt it. 28 0, Ravens in front of the Lions. Coming up at halftime, it will be the Ring of Honor induction for Raven great Terrell Suggs. What are your thoughts on coming to Baltimore? Oh, man, I'm going to a defensive kingdom. He says, by far, one of my favorite football players to go into battle with. Mediocrity is but a week, and we Raven. Set kind of the tone for the personality of this whole team and organization. He's in that group of players that define the Ravens. You think of the Ravens, you think of guys like Terrell Suggs. Touchdown, Terrell Suggs! To me, he's one of the most complete outside linebackers to ever play the game. He was just as dominant on the, on the run as he was on the pass. The ride was absolutely amazing, but if I don't tell you nothing else, King, congratulations, brother. It's your time. I don't have a vote, but if I did, Sears would be joining Jonathan, Ray, Ed, and myself in Canton, Ohio. What if they told you the last time they was gonna wear your uniform? How would you play? How would you seize this moment? Welcome to the Ring of Honor. Coming out when you get that call from Ozzy that you're gonna be a Raven. Your whole defensive, your whole football career changes. But when you get that call from this organization, you're held to a certain standard. And it's said by these men behind me, that that standard exists today. I just want to say it's been my greatest honor playing in front of you guys and being a Raven. Never did in my wildest dream that I ever thought when I got drafted here that I'd be up there with the greatest. And man, I just hope I lived up to that Raven expectation. I love y'all and it's forever. Ravens Nation, Ball So Hard University, baby. Did he? First game ever, Monday Night Football here, week one. That's a tough matchup. First, Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, Haloti Nada, Young Fernell McPhee. As a rookie, it's like, uh, oh, uh, I just remember, I blocked him the whole game. I was like, wow, this is an MLS, it's easy. Wham, sack, damn it. <laughs> then wham, sack, oh, oh God, I didn't give him a sack all in college. I'm like, well, welcome to the NFL. These go, those guys were different. Mm -hmm. 
I'm flattered to be going in, but I know one thing, we better win. They got to handle business on their home field. You know what I'm saying? Because we yeah. know the potential of this team. They just got to live up to it. All day, attack. Let's go. Two quarters of greatness. Let's go. Stop the Lions on a fourth and goal from the six. They take possession, first and 10 Ravens. Lamar Jackson will come under center. 94 yards, let's go. Fakes the inside handoff, rolls to the right, throws a check down to Gus Elmer. He's got room, 20 yard line, far side 30. Along the far side line, 40, midfield. He's to the 40, Lions 30, cuts back to the 20 yard line, taken down at the 10. And the Ravens are knock, knock, knocking at the door again. Bar to throw on second and goal, half time, slings it back in the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens! Mark Andrews in the back of the end zone, and the Ravens are back on the scoreboard. Good ball, baby. Nice to meet you, sir. Good job, Mark. Hey, that was a punt, but no, no stupid on it. That was just him. That was me, huh? Empty bus, fully gas. That's how I went under him. Like, please see me, please see me. Because <laughs> you turn around, you look, there's nobody there. Yeah, nobody there. Gus, take an 80. <laughs> Dude, he, he rolled. Dude, good spike. It wasn't like that. Great spike. That, was, that went up there. Went straight up. One of your better spikes. Good job, baby. Good win. <laughs> that was awesome, that your tutty. Wow. That was a hell of a leap. I just, I, I was like, I'm just gonna fall down right here, and make an easy catch. We had a little boy in, in, in our facility this week, Isaac. That was at the, I'm wearing a Isaac band, and um, it was awesome to see him this week. So I told him that you know we were gonna go out, and I was gonna get him some touchdowns and um, win this game, and um, just extremely blessed to be able to see him, see how strong he is right now, and um, just, to, just the message is continue to fight, man. Just continue to fight and be happy. You know, people are going through things in life, and. Just take it day by day. In this game that we anticipated might be a slugfest, this has been more like Muhammad Ali against your neighbor, Phil. Fourth and one, under pressure. Goff going deep down the middle, and it is intercepted by Geno Stone in the end zone. And he'll take a knee with his fourth pick of the season. Go get it! Hey, that was a smart decision. And I ain't gonna lie, it was his. It, it was him. He was, was, was making a smart decision. Dive. I he was, was like, yeah, I'm gonna get busy. Well, you know, he was just gonna run out of bounds anyway. Hey, I was gonna get busy. I lost my legs on that one when he got out of it. Find him? Hold on, what you talking about? Find him after? What you talking about? And what a day it has been for the Ravens as they dominate the Lions this afternoon. And the fans are up and on their way to the exit, feeling awfully good about the only time they've seen the Ravens in a month. You're going to see Lamar Jackson at his golden stage right now because he got his golden win yesterday, and he looks golden, yeah, gold. I'm telling you. It felt like this is a Ravens statement game to the rest of the league. You could have your Lions party, and you could do it elsewhere. It's not in our building, not today, not this week. I was really happy for Baltimore because this is a lot of weeks of like figuring it out, and it all came together at the right time. And now Lamar is firmly in that MVP conversation, and the Ravens mm -hmm. might be the best team in football after that win. Keep, keep going. Keep me great, bro. You look good. Awesome. Yep, yep. Keep growing. This is where it starts. This is where what you, your vision becomes it starts to be realized. Mm -hmm. When you start to see what it can look like, right? That was wall to wall. And still there's things in there we're, we're ticked about that we know should have been better. That No, we know could have been better. What this could have been. You keep chasing what it could have been. Keep building on what it was and keep chasing what it could have been because that's what it can be. And it's our responsibility to make it that. How about that? Huh? How about that? We're preaching, right? That's what it is right there. Okay, so we're going to do just a couple game balls here for some special guys. Pat Ricard, uh, career long catch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love you, boys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Gus Edwards, career long run. Gino just keeps getting their sets and said, Man, I know he's got two sacks. I know he got two sacks.
Jay Flowers had a big play. I got that on here, too. I forget what it was now. It was so early in the game, and there were so many of them. And I got to give a shout. How about Todd Muck and the oh, offensive yeah. coaches? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great job, Todd. Great job, coaches. Great job, players. Buying in. It's only the start. Thank you. Come on, Lamar. Come on, Lamar. Come on, Lamar. That was dominant. That was him. That was dominant. Todd, give us a break. Todd, give us a break. Great job. Proud of you guys. Proud of you guys, man. Hey, let's let's get locked in. All right. Yeah, let's enjoy it. I'm gonna watch football tonight. I can't watch enough football tonight, man. Then we're gonna be locked and loaded, getting ready to go to Arizona. Hey, bring it in, man. Bring it in. Hey, great job, man. Love you guys. Ravens on three. One, two, three. Ravens.